খুবর নাকলাম নৌসাইন হিমা কিনতমু বানপন হে ইয়ে কাট লি সুই হা ওম রোয় খাম বানপন জরং সুসু ইয়ে সুরক কব মারে লি কব ইয়ি লি সুই লি কব ওং রনউে না বানা বন ওন কি লি সুই কি হে কালা বন খাম সিম্পর নমর বক সরকার জেলা হরং কাট এয়ারপোর্ট অথরিটি অফ ইন্ডিয়া কদম দন কম বন ইং মঞ্জুর সুয়া না ডিরেক্টরেট জেনারেল অফ সিভিল এভিয়েশন হাসুয়া বন ইয়াজ সখমান ইয়ে লো মন্ত্রী রং বা সরকার জেলা কনরাট কংগল সংমা হরেন বলো ইং পন খ্রে কি খামে আহলোর জিং তুমু বান পন হে ইয়ে কাট লি সুই হ উম রোয় খন বি লি সুই কি হে কুম কোয়িং সেভেন থ্রি সেভেন কলা বন ওন হি পোর বন সন উল অং রু বি জিং বাতাই কব বনি আহলোর জিং পন হে ইয়ে কাট লি সুই কে হেন বলা দেব কিং পুরি বনি ইয়ে কিং ডন কম হি কাট লি সুই বাল ইয়ে হরে কাট বট এয়ারপোর্ট অথরিটি অফ ইন্ডিয়া উল অং বাত কুম কিন জিং পান খ্রে আমদন কম সু বন অট ইয়া কি লোমৃত কি বন সাউড কাট লি সুই হেন্ড্রয় ডন কম বন পন হে ইয়ে কাট লি সুই ডাকা বাসিম জাকা সু বাট পিনজরং ইয়ে সুরক কবান মারে কি লি সুই লি রন উ কাট লি সুই হ উম রোয় কদন কম বন পিনজরং সসান স্পা আনি ফুয়ে মিট ক রন উ বাট কদন কম রু কুম হেন্ড্রেউ আকার কা জাকা বান পন ইং ইয়ে কি লি সুই উকন রাত উল অং বাই কিনে কি জিং পান খ্রে বারো বান পন হে ইয়া কাট লি সুই ডন কম বন ইয়ো জিং মন জোর সুয়া না কতনা লি সুই ক সরকার পেন খামতাম না ডি জি সি এ Uh, apart from that we had a detailed presentation it was not a formal item but it was a presentation that was given by the transport department uh, which is uh, basically for the uh, expansion of the shillong uh, airport uh, as you are aware that we have been facing a large number of challenges and uh, previous technical reports uh, had made it quite difficult for us to actually go into the feasibility of uh expanding the airport but uh, after doing a study which was uh, sanctioned by the gov- state government last year uh to do a lidar uh, survey of the entire uh, area around the uh, airport about 20 square kilometers was studied uh and this is of course being done with airport authority of india on board uh we are happy to inform that we have been able to come out with few options where in the existing airport itself we should be able to extend the runway which would make it feasible for at least the uh, airbus a320 and the um, boeing 737 uh, 737 is it correct yes sir boeing 737 uh, which is about 180 170 seater aircrafts in layman's term basically the indigo flights and the spice jet flights that we normally take uh so this particular study and this particular master plan and this implementation should allow us to make the landing of these aircrafts uh feasible in the existing uh, airport that we have uh of course there are certain more uh, clearances that are required uh for the discussions have to be done with government of india especially with the gca and the civil aviation ministry so we are on the job uh, it is still at uh, you can say the process and the planning stage is still on but the initial report that we have seen today from the uh, transport department uh, is very encouraging and very positive and we are hopeful that we should be able to take this forward but as i said that i will uh, not uh, jump the gun right now uh we will only come out with a detailed um, press note and uh, all the facts once we are able to clear all the clearances and meetings with the dgca and the civil aviation ministry but since this was in the agenda and since we discussed this and since it's a positive news for all of us uh i thought i would share this with you that after the meeting we had uh we are uh, uh quite hopeful that uh, we should be able to extend the runway and we hopeful that if all the different aspects so we cannot say as i said because we have to talk to dgca and we have to talk to the civil aviation ministry but uh, the survey that was done along with the airport authority of india uh, the the survey and the technical report has come out feasible so we are on the right track
now the process starts of actually expend, extending the runway, certain permissions required from DGCA, uh, certain other aspects and works uh, that need to be done, details of which I will share in a later stage with you. But I, what, I'm, what my point being is that uh, in the previous months and years, we were still struggling on looking at whether we'll go for a new site, whether we have to chop up the mountains, whether we have to do all those things. So at least we are now clear that we have a very, very much uh, reasonable and a feasible option in front of us, which is very much implementable. And uh, we are now on track. Time, timing is something that really depends on so many factors because some of the factors are beyond our control. But uh, what I would like to share is that we are now uh, in the right direction and the process is on and we are very, very hopeful that we should be able to you know, move the things in the right direction. But definitely, it's something that will take time because extension of the runway has to be done. Um, I can share with you that we have to extend the runway by about 500 plus meters. So obviously, that requires so many aspects to be looked into. So we'll look at all those aspects. But as I said, at least now we know where we're heading. Exactly. It's, it's, it's something that we cannot say because it requires a bit of uh, land acquisition. It requires a bit of construction. But definitely it's not going to be in that line where we're talking of chopping off the mountains, which is going to take 8,000 crores, which is something that was very, very difficult for us to take a decision on. Uh, we're very we're happy that now we will not require any major uh, destruction or cutting off mountains, maybe a bit of cleaning up has to be done, which is bare minimum, a uh, bit of land acquisition just to extend the runway, you know, a bit here and there and create some parking space for aircrafts and obviously the implementation of the actual uh, extension of the runway. So very, very practical, realistic and doable steps now are there. Exact cost is something which obviously I cannot say right now because we have to go into the details of it, but it's not going to be anything close to what was uh, being um, thought of in the past where we would require large amount to chop up the mountains. No, nothing like that. Very, very reasonable and doable actions are required. So as for the expansion plan, uh, 20 acres of land is required, which is six acres for parking of aircraft. Uh, how much amount is required or is it feasible to acquire this land because we have seen uh, very difficult as far as uh, yes, uh, obviously we have got concerns, um, uh, which is always there. I mean, it's not about this project alone. In any project, obviously land acquisition is something that we have to work on. Uh, but I think what is important to note is that this project is a game changer for our state. I think uh, everyone who is part of this must realize how important this project is for Meghalaya and uh, for tourism sector and what potential this has to change the entire landscape of the economy and tourism sector of our state and hence uh, this is something that we must all work together to get through. So uh, yes there could be challenges I don't know I'm not sure yet because we have not started the process yet uh, but today's cabinet uh, has given the approval to go ahead and now start the process. So let us see how things go forward. But uh, yes, we look at cooperation from all angles. As I said, this is for the larger interest and good of the people and the state as a whole. So, so what about the uh, regional imbalance? Is it the fact that you have abandoned the Bajak airport? Are only concentrated in here? Uh, absolutely not. In fact, uh, the discussion of land acquisition for Bajak is also on. Uh, the land acquisition process, the identification by the revenue department, uh, revenue branch of the DC office is already under process. They have done an initial report. The Airport Authority of India was not at that point satisfied with that report. So another uh, detailed report is now being prepared. Uh, so both are going uh, hand in hand. And we are keen that uh, in both locations, the flight should start. Uh, in fact, uh, the work for the Baljik Airport has started before. Uh, the process for this one, uh, for the Umro Airport started because in Umro Airport we were also looking at the option of a new location. But then that's when the uh, government we sat down when he said that, well, why don't we revisit this and see once more and uh, invest a bit on technical reports and maybe there could be an option that could come out 
where we may be able to actually bring in the larger aircrafts in the existing air airport itself. So it was a chance we took um, and uh, we're happy that this particular step we took has given us a, uh, you know, an option. So we were happy with this and we are working ahead and going ahead with uh, Baljik also. In fact, in Baljik airport also in advanced state, all the discuss discussions are taking place at a very, very advanced stage. Yeah, so I, I don't want to say that we have to negotiate. I think that would not be a correct word. Uh, approval. Yes, exactly. We need approvals. We need some kind of uh, uh, permissions from uh, from DGCA because DGCA is the ultimate authority to give us the license to move forward. And hence, uh, we could have certain issues. It would be wrong on my part to sit here and say that everything is now on track and we're ready to move forward. So what I'm trying to tell you is that we have done our part. Transport Department along with Airport Authority has now submitted this proposal or at least gone through this proposal and given us a feasibility. The next step now is to sit with DGCA and present this to DGCA and we're hopeful that when this is presented to G DGCA, if there are any issues to be taken up, we, we hope that those issues will be resolved. Um, and that's the only reason why I've said that. So th those will be as per the discussions and as I said, it's too early for me to go into those details. But since DGCA is the authority, all I'm saying is that it's not correct on my part as a state government to say that we are on track, everything is in. Now, next step is with, is with DGCA and I'm hopeful that that meeting also will be positive. We are working very hard on this. But I think the bottom line at the end of the day is that we have a, a we are seeing the, the roadmap in front of us. That is what is important. And we, we didn't have this roadmap before. We really didn't know how to move forward because the old studies were showing a very complicated uh, challenge in front of us. But now this new study has brought out this new process and a new way forward. And now the next step will be to meet DGCA and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to find a way. Forward. So those hills were part of the initial plan. If we had not cut those, then even the flights that are landing now would not have landed. So uh, so now we, we when we cut those hills, it uh, paved the way for us to bring the regional connectivity through Uran. Uh, the QR, uh, the Q400 uh, flights, the ATRs landing and other aircraft landing. If we had not cut those hills at that point in time, even those aircraft would not have landed. But now we're looking at the bigger aircrafts and bigger challenge. So which means now we have to uh, see uh, right now, please, uh, please note, I'm not saying we have to cut any hills right now. Please, uh, 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 you have to, you know, quote me correctly. Right now, the way we had to do it earlier, uh, before the Q400 and the ATRs landed was uh, at a larger scale. We had to uh, we had to clear the mountains. We were told that we'll have to clear bigger mountains for the bigger aircrafts to come in. That is not what's going to happen now, is what I'm telling you. Now we know that we only have to clean up. You can say a bit of here and there, some maybe some you know bits sticking out here and there. It's a very very bare minimum, very bare minimum, even lesser than what happened last. You know, uh, five years back, when we took the decision, we went ahead, which paved the way to bring in whatever 15,000 passengers flying every month into uh, Shillong City today, uh, into the airport, I'm sorry. Uh, so, so that was paved the way. Now, what we're going to do is very bare minimum. Now, our focus is on the extension of the runway, clearing up a bit of hurdles here and there in terms of mountains, no major chopping. And therefore, the cost is going to be drastically very, very, very low compared to what we had expected earlier. 